Hi there, this is Steven Foss at HE.net with your IPv6 update. If you've been paying attention to the IPv4 depletion counters that we host at IPv6.he.net slash statistics, you probably noticed that today is one of those special countdown days. Maybe you've got the Bye Bye V4 app on your iPhone or the gadget on your copy of Windows 7, but either way you can see that we only have 100 days of IPv4 left. You should have already started or be already starting your IPv6 deployment. Step towards that deployment includes surveying existing network infrastructure, educating technical staff, phasing in and testing IPv6 capable devices, monitoring and maintaining IPv6 infrastructure, and setting general policies regarding IPv6 integration and use. No one expects that your organization will make the switch from IPv4 only to IPv6 only. As such, the migration process should be integrated. One method includes running both IPv4 and IPv6 on your router switches and end nodes at the same time. This method is called dual stacking, and the idea is to set IPv6 communication as the preferred protocol. A common transition movement is to start with equipment at the core and then move to the edge. You would enable two protocol stacks on WAN core routers, then perimeter routers and firewalls, then server farm routers, then desktop access routers. This deployment scheme will enable dual protocol stack on each of your servers and then finally on each of your edge computer systems. There are multiple systems available to choose from that work in a dual stack environment. Try to use dual stack to phase in IPv6 where you can and where you can't use tunnels.